Welcome friends. In this video tutorial, we will learn use of value of element in XSL. Value of element allows information to be extracted and added to the resulting document. So, we will see how to retrieve data from the XML document and how to format it in our XSL document. So, in previous tutorial, we have created one XSL document. We have declared XML version for XSL. We have also started XSL style sheet tag. We have started XSL template and we are matching with slash. We have created one HTML document in which we have created one head to display heading and one table tag to display two things. One is the title and second is the artist. So now we will retrieve this title and artist data from the XML document. We have already one XML document which is this in which one CD data contains. Now we have also referenced the XSL document with this XML document. So we have given href is equal to cat.xsl. Now let's see how to use XSL value of element. To use XSL value of element, first we are displaying data in table row. So I am creating table row and displaying data in table data which is table cell. Now in first cell, I want to display title of the CD. So to retrieve the title of the CD, we are writing XSL colon value hyphen of so this is the syntax of value of element after that write select the actual select attribute consists of an xpath expression that is similar in addressing part to an operating system's file hierarchy with the forward slash selecting subdirectories so we have to give here full path of our xml element means our first xml element is catalog which is the root element after that second element which is the child element is cd and sub child element is title we want to access title so we have to specify this full path so we are accessing catalog in which we are accessing cd and finally title now complete the value of element now in second cell we want to display artist. So I am writing XSL value of and select is equal to catalog slash CD slash artist and completing it. Note that we must have to write value of select in double quote. Otherwise we will not get the output. Now what will be the output? Now data will be extracted from the XML document and it will be displayed in the formatted output. Up to now we have just displayed the output in simple XML document in tree structure. But with the help of XSL we can display the data in form of style sheet. So now let's see the output using XML document. So run the cat.xml document. We can see in the output heading is created and title and artist cells are displaying heading and one item called slum dog and artist as a Danny Boyle is displayed. So this is the output of XML document data. So this is the formatted output and this is the use of XSL document which we can retrieve the data in form of formatted output. This is the XML style sheet which is the XSL. Thank you.